Today, April 1st, 2021, marks the beginning of the observance of Occupational Safety and Health Month. Occupational Safety and Health falls within the Ministry of Labor. It is part of my responsibility as Minister of Labor, and it should be a concern for everyone regardless of where you work, be it in the field, office, or factory, in the public or private sector, or in the formal or informal economy. This year, Citizens, Occupational Safety and Health Month is being observed under the theme, Investing in OHS, OSH Systems, Capitalizing on Safe and Healthy Working Environments in Times of Crisis. This is in keeping with the theme proposed by the International Labor Organization for World Day for Safety and Health at Work, which will be celebrated on April 28, 2021, which is also recognized as Occupational Safety and Health Day in Guyana. I consider the theme very apt given the COVID-19 pandemic and the challenges it effects which were faced by workplace in Guyana during the past year. It is quite obvious that there is need to strengthen our OSH systems and enable them to address the crisis now and in the future. Therefore, it is incumbent on us to anticipate, prepare and respond to crisis as we invest now in resilient occupational safety and health systems. In recognition of this need, the Ministry of Labor has already responded positively by expanding the staffing structure of the Occupational Safety and Health Department to include an additional 20 persons. Consequently, Occupational Safety and Health Services will be provided in all of the 10 administrative regions of Guyana. Further, the services of this department have also been expanded to include COVID-19 guidance for workplaces and all members of staff will be trained in Spanish and Portuguese in the first instance so that migrant workers can be reached with safety and health messages. In addition, since my appointment as Minister of Labor on August 5th, 2020, and from that day to December 31st, 2020, there were 12 workplace fatalities. Again, during the first five months of this year, there were five workplace fatalities. This situation has been a cause of great concern to me and should be the same for all employers and workers in Guyana, regardless of where you may work. The fatalities could have been avoided if safe systems and methods of work were employed in the workplaces. I hold the view, and I am sure that is the same for many of you, that this situation cannot be considered normal. It must not be seen as such, and therefore must not be allowed to continue. There is need, a great need for us to place an increased focus on good workplace safety and health practices and promote a safety and health culture in Guyana. Therefore, investing in occupational safety and health systems in the workplace is a necessity. It is very important and it can save lives. Investing in occupational safety and health systems in workplaces means that at the minimum, Workplaces need to do the following, which are legal requirements as outlined in the Occupational Safety and Health Act, Chapter, chapter 9906, Laws of Guyana. One, develop a workplace safety and health policy that all workers are aware of and have a clear understanding of their roles and responsibility. Two, develop a program to implement the policy. Three, establish a joint workplace safety and health committee in workplaces that employ 20 or more employees. Four, appoint a safety and health representative in workplaces that employ less than 20 persons. Five, 
regular workplace safety and health inspections or audits with the findings being implemented as quickly as possible. I hold the view that the implementation of occupational safety and health systems in workplaces will contribute to a safety climate and eventually the development of a safety, safety culture in workplaces. Consequently, I would like to see a safety culture developed in all workplaces in Guyana. The term safety climate was used at least as early as 1980 or even earlier, and it is one in which individual workers have a positive attitude, positive perceptions and beliefs about occupational safety and health. It is sometimes described as the mood of a workplace. However, a safety culture is one in which everyone benefits from a safety climate and everyone not only looks after themselves, but others too. The term safety culture came into focus in 1986 at the time of the Chernobyl accident. It is seen as promoting, regarding, and controlling safety in such a way as to make safety a part of business, instead of a condition of business. The International Labor Organization Conference, which was held in Geneva 2003, recognized the importance and need for a safety culture at work which should be built by governments, employers, and workers working together. My message, therefore, to all employers and, em and workers organizations in Guyana today is to work together to develop and strengthen the OSH systems in your workplaces, plan and execute programs to observe occupational safety and health for this month as well as for the rest of the year. Bearing in mind the COVID-19 pandemic and the need for the adherence to the protocols as outlined by the Ministry of Health. This year, the Ministry of Labor has developed a program of activities with a general focus on safety and health, inclusive COVID-19 precautions in all workplaces, but more specifically in the mining and construction sectors. The emphasis on mining and construction is because the majority of fatalities for the year 2020 occurred in, those, in these sectors. Outreaches will be done in mining communities in Region 1, 7, 8, and 9, and they will be done in collaboration with our key stakeholders in the mining sector. The messages will be on accident prevention and the adherence to COVID-19 protocols for the workplace. Therefore, there will be inspections at construction sites to ensure that there is compliance with the OSH Act and the OSH officers of this ministry will also be available to provide technical support for employers and trade unions programs. Finally, let us build and maintain a safety and health culture by making use of all available means to increase general awareness, knowledge and understanding of the concept of hazards and risks how they may be prevented or controlled. I would hope that all workers, all employers, and all representative of workers pay attention and help to celebrate the month Occupation Safety and Health 2021.